This is the Music History Today podcast for September 6th. On today's show, Princess Diana is laid to rest and inspires the biggest selling single ever. Pavarotti also passes away and rockers get into a fight at the MTV Video Music Awards. First up, though, on this date in 1954, WINS Radio in New York City became one of the first radio stations to play rock and roll music. In 1963, Jerry Lee Lewis left Sun Records. In 1968, Eric Clapton recorded his guitar part for George Harrison's song, While My Guitar Gently Weeps. In 1974, George Harrison started his record label, Dark Horse. In 1976, Dean Martin reunited with his one-time partner, Jerry Lewis, on Jerry Lewis's Labor Day Telethon for Muscular Dystrophy. In 1987, Leonard Skinner reunited for the first time in 10 years since the plane crash that killed lead singer Ronnie Van Zant and other members of the band and their entourage. In 1988, Elton John auctioned off over 2,000 items from his wardrobe collection, among other things. In 1997, the funeral service for Princess Diana took place. At the service, Elton John sang a special version of Candle in the Wind, subtitled Goodbye England's Rose. The single release would go on to become the biggest selling single ever worldwide. In 2008, country music singer K.T. Tunstall married drummer Luke Bullion. And in 2012, the group 24K was formed. In classical music in 1791, Mozart premiered his opera La Clemenza de Tito. In 1889, opera singer Ava Nansen married explorer Fridjof Nansen. And in 2008, the Beaux Arts Trio performed together for the final time. In theater, in 1927, the musical Good News opened on Broadway. In 1969, the musical Cabaret closed on Broadway. In 1979, the revival of the musical Peter Pan starring Sandy Duncan closed on Broadway. And in 1981, the musical They're Playing Our Song closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on September 6th, In 1989, Living Color and Neil Young were among the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. Although the ceremony is better known as that time Vince Neil of Motley Crue got into a fight with Izzy Stradlin of Guns N' Roses and punched him in the face. In 1990, Sinead O'Connor was the big winner at the MTV Video Music Awards. In 2001, it was Eve Moby, both with Gwen Stefani, who won big at the MTV Video Music Awards. The song Lady Marmalade won Video of the Year. And that was also the ceremony where Britney Spears got wrapped up in a snake and sang I'm a Slave for You. In 2011, P.J. Harvey became the first musical artist to win the Mercury Music Prize twice. And in 2012, it was Rihanna, Calvin Harris, Nicki Minaj, and Chris Brown who were among the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released in the UK on September 6th include in 2004 when Alison Moyet released Voice. Meanwhile in America, in 1965, Merle Haggard released Strangers. In 1974, Hawkwind released Hall of the Mountain Grill and Judas Priest released Rockarola. In 1979, Cool and the Gang released Ladies Night and Aretha Franklin released La Diva. In 1982, Ice House released Primitive Man. In 1985, John Cale released Artificial Intelligence. In 1988, New Kids on the Block released their big hit, Hangin' Tough. In 1989, Lenny Kravitz released Let Love Rule. In 1994, David Gray released Flesh and Widespread Panic released Ain't Life Grand. In 1995, Land released their self-titled album. In 1999, Yazoo, or Yaz as they say in America, released only Yazoo. In 2004, Mike and the Mechanics released Rewired and Hits minus the latest and greatest. In 2005, The Rolling Stones released A Bigger Bang. In 2019, Post Malone released Hollywood's Bleeding. And also on that same day, The High Women with Maren Morris, Brandi Carlisle, Amanda Shires, and Natalie Hemby 
released their self-titled album. Singles that were released on September 6th in the UK include in 1963 when the Dave Clark Five released Do You Love Me. In 1966, Peter and Gordon released Lady Godiva. And in 1982, Culture Club released Do You Really Want to Hurt Me. Meanwhile, in America, in 1959, The Miracles released Bad Girl. In 1961, Jan and Dean released Wanted One Girl. In 1966, The Birds did a twofer. They released Mr. Spaceman and What's Happening. In 1969, The Monkees did a twofer. They released Mommy and Daddy and Good Clean Fun. In 1983, Cyndi Lauper released Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, a classic song. In 1998, Days of the New released Shelf in the Room. In 2004, JoJo released Baby It's You. And in 2019, Melanie Martinez released Show and Tell. Harvey and Jonas Blue released Younger. Sophie Tucker released Purple Hat. And Kelsey Ballerini released Homecoming Queen. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 6th include Roger Waters of Pink Floyd, DJ and actor Mr. Idris Elba, rapper Foxy Brown, Max George of The Wanted, Nina Person of The Cardigans, Dolores O'Riordan of The Cranberries, singer Sylvester, singer Cece Peniston, Singer Macy Gray, DJ Spooky, Carrie Katona of Atomic Kitty, producer Cisco Adler, David Bargeron of Blood, Sweat, and Tears, Clyde's Charles Smith of Cool in the Gang, Banner Thomas of Molly Hatchet, Pal Waktar Savoy of Aha, Scott Travis of Judas Priest, Kathy Wolfgren of The Jets, Country music guitarist Paul Yandel, country music singer David Allen Coe, singer Jackie Trent, drummer Mickey Waller, Nibs Carter of Saxon, William Duvall of Alice in Chains, rapper Lil Xan, rapper Fat Nick, singer Zoe Alexander, rapper Webby, rapper Famous Dex, guitarist Doug Boyle of Robert Plant's backup band, country music singer Mark Chestnut, Composer Louis Silvers, trumpet player Boss Broberg, cornet player Bent Person, musician Roger Dean, country music singer songwriter Buddy Miller, bassist Perry Bamante of The Cure, jazz singer Claire Martin, singer Daryl Anthony of As Yet, reggaeton singer N O R E, better known as Nor. Singer Romel Lamube of American Idol fame, country music singer Mel McDaniel singer John Charles Thomas, and cornet player Buddy Bolden. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 6th include composer Johann Wallach, who passed away in 1831 at the age of 49. Composer Henry Hadley passed away in 1937 at the age of 65. Composer Jose Forns y Cuadras passed away in 1952 at the age of 54. Entertainer Gertrude Lawrence passed away from cancer in 1952 at the age of 54. Composer and musicologist Felix Borowski passed away in 1956 at the age of 84. Composer Hans Eisler passed away in 1962 at the age of 64. Composer Constantine G. Mostas passed away in 1965 at the age of 79. Composer Luigi Paraccio passed away in 1966 at the age of 83. Composer and conductor with the Covent Garden Opera Company, Carl Rankel, passed away in 1968 at the age of 69. Composer William Harris passed away in 1973 at the age of 90. Composer Paul Burkhardt passed away in 1977 at the age of 65. 
Record producer Tom Wilson passed away from heart issues in 1978 at the age of 47. Composer Ronald Binge passed away in 1979 at the age of 69. Composer Joseph Yasser passed away in 1981 at the age of 88. Country music musician Ernest Tubb passed away from emphysema in 1984 at the age of 70. Entertainer Jane Frazzy passed away from pneumonia in 1985 at the age of 70. Singer Johnny Desmond passed away from cancer in 1985 at the age of 65. Pianist Leon Orthel passed away in 1985 at the age of 79. Pianist Little Brother Montgomery passed away in 1985 at the age of 79. Tom Fogarty of Creedence Clearwater Revival passed away from AIDS due to a blood transfusion in 1990 at the age of 48. Trumpet player and band leader with the Max Kaminsky Orchestra, Mr. Max Kaminsky, passed away in 1994 at the age of 85. Session pianist Nicky Hopkins passed away from complications from surgery in 1994 at the age of 50. Carl Crack of the band Atari Teenage Riot passed away in 2001 at the age of 30. Opera singer extraordinaire, the legendary Mr. Luciano Pavarotti, passed away from pancreatic cancer in 2007 at the age of 71. The man known as the Creole Beethoven, composer and record producer Wardell Kwiatkowski, passed away in 2011 at the age of 81. Musician Bobby Martin passed away in 2013 at the age of 83. Rapper Theodore Pickford of Glizzy Gang was shot and killed in 2017 at the age of 26. Conductor Claudio Schimone passed away in 2018 at the age of 83. Blues guitarist Mr. Satan passed away from COVID-19 in 2020 at the age of 84. Singer Larry Chance of the group The Earls passed away in 2023 at the age of 82. And jazz double bassist Richard Davis passed away in 2023 at the age of 93. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 7th, when in 2018, the world lost Mac Miller. Mac Miller.